Yeah, look, I think every time you play subcontinent sides, you always look to target them with some short pitch bowling. Um, and it's, it's, it's always been part of South Africans' bowling attack makeup. So maybe overcooked those stages, but, but it's definitely something that we'll continue doing. Well, look, obviously, we, every batter we look at, we obviously strategize and analyze where we want to bowl to these guys. So it was obviously, but in that particular spell, it was probably a plan to try and bowl a few short balls at the two batters. Yeah, look, like I said earlier, that um, this this test side's been in tight situations before and managed to find ways to get out of it. We know that we're in a tight situation at the moment. Um, in saying that, there's, there's there's no reason why we cannot limit the the damage in, in terms of first lead, uh, first innings lead. Um, so the new ball tomorrow morning is going to be crucial. If we can nip out one or two with a new ball and and, and limit the lead to somewhere between 80 and 120, we're still very much in the game. No, for sure. I think you've, you've, you've got to go back and, and remind yourself of why the sides become the number one side in the world and, and how they found ways to get out of tight situations like we are at the moment. Look, it's going to be a tough ask. Um, we know the, favor, the, the, the odds are heavily stacked in Pakistan's favour at the moment, but we've been in situations like this before and managed to find our, our way out of it. So they will call on that experience that they've gained over the last couple of years and, and, and hopefully stay calm and focus on their processes again tomorrow and, and, and find ways of... of of getting into a good position again.